let's discuss a programming question majority element 2 so let's first understand the problem statement so in this problem we have given an array of size n and we have to write a code to find all elements that appear more than n by 3 times where n is the size of an array and uh, we have to write a code in such a way that it should run in linear time and it should not use any extra space so it should run in one time big O of n its time complexity should be big O of n and its space complexity should be big O of 1. So let's understand this problem statement through multiple examples. So in the first example given an array of size 3 so we have to find all the element which appear more than once in this array and there exists only one element which is 3. So 3 is the output now uh, let's see the second example in this example given an array of size 8 so we have to find all the element which appear more than twice in this array and there exist two elements so one is one and second is two so one and two is the answer so this is the problem statement and now let's understand few important points before solving this problem so suppose given an array of size 6 and if we have to find uh, the majority element which appear more than n by 2 times. So in, in if, if we have given an array of size n so there exists at most one majority element which appear more than n by 2 times. So there exists at most one element which appear more than uh, thrice. In, in an array so if one element appear four times so the second up element will up, uh, appear uh, at most twice so there exists only one element which appear more than thrice similarly uh, <coughs> if given an array of size 6 so at most we have two element which which appear more than twice in this array so when we uh, so we have to find all the element which appear more than n by 3 uh, which appear more than n by 3 times so it means in an array we can we can at most find only two element which appear n by 3 times so this is the important point which we have to keep in mind while solving this problem so let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem. Uh, let's start with the easiest approach and the easiest approach to solve this problem is to use two for loops. So uh, from the outer loop we pick the element and from the inner loop we count the number of times uh, this number appears in an array. If the current element appears more than the majority count then we add them in a result list and to handle the case where the same element uh, so for example one appears thrice uh, here so we pick one and we count number of time it appears in in this array so it appears uh, thrice so we add them in a result list in next iteration we pick again one and again we get the count uh, Th uh, three but we have already counted uh, its instance uh, how many times one occurs and we can't add the same element twice in the result list so to handle this case i have declared set so set only allow unique values so we pick one and uh, from the inner loop we count number of time one appears in this array so we get three and uh, the uh, the length of this array is eight when we divide eight by three and we convert them into integer we get two so it it is greater than twice so we add them in our result list and in next iteration again we pick one so again we get three but this time it will not add in a result list as set does not allow duplicate similar case with one so when we pick three so three is uh, equal to two so it is not a majority element for two uh, it appears more than twice so it's uh, so it is an so it's a majority element so after the complete traversal of an array we get two elements 
वन एज वन एंड वन एज टू सो बोथ आर दी मेजोरिटी एलिमेंट सो बोथ बोथ दी एलिमेंट अपेयर्स मोर देन ट्वाइस इन दिस एरे सो दिस इज द इजिएस्ट वे टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट्स टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो इट्स टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज बिग ओ ऑफ एन स्क्वायर सो दिस इज द इजिएस्ट अप्रोच टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड नाउ लेट्स इम्प्रूव आर सोल्यूशन एंड लेट्स सी आर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल let's improve our previous solution so what we can do is we can use a hash map in which we can uh, put the all the element and its occurrences so we can uh, count how many times each number appears in an array and we can put them in a hash map once we know each number and its occurrences we can traverse a hash map and uh, we can check all the numbers which has appeared more than n by 3 so uh, which is uh, which has count greater than majority count so all the number which has count greater than majority count we can add them in a result list and then after the traversal of a map we return the result list so at most we get two elements which i have already explained so now let's declare a hash map so uh, so i have declared a hash map which uh, so in hash so basically hash map is a key value pair so in our case key is the number and value is its count and both is of integer type so i have declared a map of integer integer type and then we traverse an array we traverse this array we pick the element <coughs> so we start with zeroth index so we pick this element 1 and first we check is this one exist in this map is this key one exist in a map so uh, so it is not so what we can do is i have called the put method in which uh, key is the number so key is the number and value is its count so here i have called get or default method what it does is if this key exist it will give its previous count else it will return the default value which is zero and then i add one to it so one does not exist in this map so it will give its default value zero and then i add one and then i put them in a map so it is one one so next uh, in next iteration uh, we reach at this index and we take the value one and again we check so one exist uh, in a map it will give its previous count which is one then we add one and we put them put back uh, put them in a map so we put its new count which is 2 so in hash map key is always unique so whenever we put the value against a key which exist in a hash map it will override it will uh, put the new value against the key similarly when i get 1 so it will update its value which is 3 so this uh, and this line of code uh, does this thing then when we get 3 so 3 again this key is not present in a hash map so we put 3 and 1 again 3 so 3 2 then 2 and all its occurrences similarly we get its final count which is 3 now we get uh, we get all the number and its count all the number and its occurrences so we traverse this hash map and we check all the numbers which has count greater than majority counts so there exist only two numbers one is 1 and 2 which has count greater than 2 so we add them in a result list and after that we return this result so we return 1 and 2 so in this way we can improve our solution from big o of n square to big o of n so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n and its space complexity is also big o of n we are using extra space by using hash map so let's uh, solve this problem in linear time in big o of time uh, big o of n <coughs> time and uh, without using any extra space in big o of one space so let's see uh, our next approach let's solve this problem by using boyer more majority vote algorithm in o n time complexity and without using any extra space by using constant space 
so i have already explained this algorithm in my previous tutorial of majority elements let's uh, again uh, see how this algorithm works and how we can solve this problem using this algorithm so before solving uh, before uh, solving uh, this problem using uh, uh, boyer murray majority algorithm uh, let's discuss again this important point so we have to find all the element which appear more than n by three times in an array and we already discussed there exist two element at most two element which appears n by three times in an array so so by using uh, this intuition what we can do is we declare two count variable and two candidate so uh, in Murray's uh, uh, majority vote algorithm so to apply this algorithm we need uh, one count variable and one candidate so when we traverse an array initially we uh, whenever the count is zero we consider first element as the candidate and uh, as we traverse the array we check the current element with the candidate element if it is same we increment the value of count if it is not we decrement the value of count and after a complete traversal of the array uh, the candidate element we get we traverse again uh, an array to uh, to verify whether this candidate element is the majority element or not so this is the logic of boyer murray majority vote algorithm and let's visualize this algo so now uh, we know there exist at most two element which appears more than n by three times so <coughs> using this we have declared two count variable and two candidates so uh, uh, we only get two candidate elements so initially uh, the value of count is count variables are zero and candidate are null so we start traversing an array and here are few checks so if candidate is not null and the candidate one is equal to the current uh, number the element which is present at current index then increment the count uh, uh, one uh, variable uh, increment the value of count one variable which is not the case similarly this is also not the case if candidate two is not equal to null so candidate two is null as uh, initial value of candidate one and two is null so we reach at this else if condition where count one is zero yes so we assign this current element to the candidate one so in candidate one we assign one and we increment its count to one now uh, we move to next iteration and we reach at this index and uh, the candidate the value of candidate one is not null and the value of candidate one and the element present at the current index is equal so we increment the value of count one variable so let's increment it similarly in next iteration again this condition is true so we increment its count now let's uh, in next iteration we reach at this index and now candidate one is not null but the value of candidate one and the element which is present and the element which is present at the current index are different so this condition is not true similarly this condition is not true as candidate two is still null and this condition is not true as candidate uh, the count one has value three now we reach at this uh, condition so count two is zero so we assign this value to candidate <coughs> two so which is three and increment the value of count which is one now we move to next iteration so we reach at this index this condition is not true but see this condition candidate 2 is not null and the candidate 2 which is 3 is equal to the current element yes so we increment the value of count 2 so count 2 is incremented now we reach at this index and the value is 2 so in next iteration so candidate 1 is not null but 1 and 2 is not equal similarly candidate 2 is not null but 3 and 2 is not equal count 1 
is equal to equal to zero no count two is equal to equal to zero no so what we have to do is we have to decrement the uh, count one and count two as this candidate is different from the candidate which we have assigned uh, <coughs> which is so it is different from candidate one and two so we have to decrement the value of count one and count two so let's decrement it it is two and it is one now so we reach at this statement uh, so at this index and again all these conditions are not true so we reach at else statement and we decrement the value of count one and count two now count two is zero so we reach at this index and in next iteration we reach at this condition so count two is zero so this is the candidate for us and we increment its value which is one so after this iteration after uh, the the complete traversal of the array we get two candidate which is one and two now we have to verify it whether the count of one and two is greater than n by three so n is the size of array it is greater than three so we again traverse this array and we check the count of one and two and it is three which is greater than two so we return one and two and uh, <clears throat> one and two so i highly recommend to watch my previous video of majority element to get the good grasp of this knowledge and now uh, let me see uh, the remaining code so uh, let me just scroll it uh, so here is the rest of the code so we get the two candidate which is uh, which i have already explained which is one and two then we traverse the array again and uh, for this candidate we check the count so we uh, we have reinitialized count to zero and we check its count and once we get the count uh, we check so we have the array length which is eight we check whether the size of uh, whether the count one and count two is greater than two yes if it is so we add them in a result list and we return the uh, result so basically uh, this algorithm find the majority element if there exist so it is guaranteed that if the majority element exists it will return the majority element but there might be a case where the majority element does not exist and it will pick the candidate element and to verify whether this candidate element is the majority element or not we need the second pass we need the second traversal so in this way we can solve this problem in linear time and by using constant space so that's it for this video tutorial and in this tutorial i have explained three approaches to solve this problem and out of these uh, the third one is the most optimized approach to solve this problem so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video